Los Angeles County, there's a good chance there's oil nearby, and not just in the cars driving around. There are oil fields all over the LA basin. This is an oil pump jack from the 1920s, but depending on where you look today, you might still see pumps seesawing up and down, bringing that oil or petroleum to the surface. The oil may be deep, but people have been figuring out how to get out of the ground for a long time. The drilling of oil left an impact of the natural and cultural landscapes of Los Angeles County today. What is a landscape? Well, a natural landscape could include trees, mountains, rivers, and then there's the cultural landscape, how humans have shaped the land, used its resources, and created a built environment. Oil is a natural resource. A natural resource is anything in nature that humans can use. Millions of years ago, in the oceans that covered Los Angeles, tiny marine organisms died and sank to the sea floor. Over millions of years, heat and pressure from movement of the Earth's crust transformed the remains of these once living things into oil. Oil is usually trapped thousands of feet beneath us, but sometimes it can seep to the surface all on its own. This can be seen in the middle of Los Angeles at the La Brea Tar Pits. In certain parts of the county, thick oil seeps up to the surface of the land or into the ocean. Tar or asphalt is very useful and sticky. For the first people of Los Angeles, the ancestors of the Tongva, Chumash and Tatavium tribes, they found it made an excellent glue and could even use it to waterproof containers like this for drinking water. There are lighter components of oil that are useful in other ways, trapped beneath the surface. If you can find a way to pump them out, you might just become rich. One of the first people to strike oil here was Charles Alexandra Mentry. In the hills north of the city, about 150 years ago, he drilled what is thought to be the first commercially successful oil well in California. It was such a big deal that a whole town called Mentryville sprung up around Charles Mentry's oil operation near Pico Canyon in the Santa Clarita Valley. While Mentryville is a ghost town today, this excitement over oil was a sign of things to come. It was the beginning of a boom. People came to Los Angeles to make their fortune. Soon, pumps and derricks were everywhere, changing the landscape dramatically. Places that were once farmlands became forests of machinery. Beaches were transformed into drilling sites. By the 1920s, Southern California was providing about a fifth of all the oil in the world. Oil was valuable because people used it to make kerosene for lighting and gasoline for powering vehicles. In the early 1900s, automobiles like this were growing in popularity and the oil industry was also booming. LA was by far the fastest growing city and largest metropolis in the Western US. Because of that natural landscape, people were spread out and they needed vehicles to get from one place to the other. Cars were new and exciting. And in LA, they had easy access to oil. The county was built and rebuilt to make it easy to drive around. Now, car culture is a huge part of Los Angeles, with freeways crisscrossing the city, connecting it all. In many parts of Los Angeles, you can still see oil wells today. That's because Southern California produces hundreds and millions of barrels of petroleum every year. Humans have even built entire islands offshore to drill for oil from the oceans. Oil drilling has shaped the natural and cultural landscapes of Los Angeles County and our planet as a whole. Cars and industries that use oil pollute our air and drive climate change. It's also bad for our lungs and our overall health. People that live closest to today's oil production sites, many of whom are low-income families and communities of color, are the most affected. Even plastic is made from oil. 
Although oil is a natural resource, it is a non-renewable resource, taking millions of years to form and just a moment to use or throw away. Thanks to communities working for a cleaner, healthier Los Angeles, things are changing. As of 2022, the city and county voted to phase out oil drilling from the region, moving towards more sustainable sources of energy. As people work to find ways to power our world more responsibly, perhaps that new green technology will reshape the landscape too. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, subscribe to our channel or visit nhm.org. See you soon.